Hey guys, it's Dragon Rockstar here. I'm gonna uh, show a test hand video of the 60 card, uh, my 60 card uh, lights wrench dolls. So you guys can uh, let's do another test hand video, right? Because I know you guys actually enjoy this, and you guys like seeing some of my hands, and or some of you guys do comment down below about them, wondering uh, you misplay this or you should have done that and things of that nature. And I really do enjoy that. Please keep doing it. It's actually very helpful for me. That way I can understand certain cards and how to play my cards in certain ways and things of that nature. It's very helpful. So let's go ahead and do uh, my first test stand. Let me just shuffle here. Let's do a test stand. Uh, if you guys do want me to uh, do a combo video and show you what kind of hand that I would like to have and things of that nature, I would love to know down in the comments below if you guys want me to do a combo video. Something of that nature. So let's go ahead and do my very first hand. Let's see what kind of hand do I draw here. Let's draw. Uh, there's one. You guys can see. Two, three, four. Five and then uh, obviously sometimes you do want to go second in this deck because sometimes you do want to go first. Uh, depending on what you're going against will determine uh, whether or not you want to go second or first. And then there's the six card for you if you're going second, which by standards is pretty good lined up. Uh, I like the hand. I think it's pretty well thought out. Um, there's a few things that uh, you could play out and things of that nature, but this is a really good hand actually. Uh, you could use the Scorpio to discard the Luna, or first norm summon the Goblin Bird, then norm, special summon this, and then this effect to discard that. Things of that nature. It's got a lot, got a lot of potential. Plus, there's a few cards you can bait out from a few negations. So that's actually not bad of a hand. Let's do another one. Like I said, there's some of these hands are pretty good. Some of these hands are pretty bad. We'll end up doing bad hands. We'll end up drawing good hands. Who knows? Uh, also, if you guys are wondering. This deck does per worked out pretty well. I went to a good event of mine and I tested out against somebody I know and they actually worked out. This hand might actually not be that good. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, and then obviously, if you guys are curious, there's the six hand. Now, this hand isn't the very best, so let's just try to line them up here. This hand isn't the very best because you obviously draw the brick, but you did draw a Lord of Darkness. So you use the lore to draw and such. Uh, it's not bad of a hand. It pretty much looks like it works and such. If you guys are curious, uh, I did upload a video about this deck profile. So you guys can check it out and see how, how what you guys think. And what cards you guys think I should test out and things of that nature. Uh, but this is this is not bad of a hand. I just personally didn't want to draw both of these two. But I do have... Uh, a Black Rose play I can go into if my opponent has a good board and such. So let's just try to keep going here. Let's see. Let's see what's another hand I can draw here. And I might as well play maybe play test one of the hands and such. The next hand that we draw and try to see how it works. Let's keep going. Let's see. There we go. I had to get some good shuffles in here. I'm gonna cut it for us and see how well see what we draw. Um, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, and then obviously the six draw, which is not the very best because you drew drew another garnet. Garnet is the brick. Cobra is a brick, so you don't want to draw those all the time. But you did draw a solar recharge for uh, ratings. You have tons of draw power here to state you off and go off and such like that. Which is not bad of a hand. Uh, let's go ahead and actually try to play this hand, right? So let's try to play this hand. Let's lay it out right here as you guys can see it pretty well. Try to lay it out for you. So let's just probably do solar recharge. Uh, ditch the rating. Uh, draw two. And you mill two. So I mill a uh, Shadow Falco. And another Shadow Falco. So wow. I mill two Shadow Falco. So I guess I'll get the Shadow Falco to go off. And pretty much set all the way over here to get it out of my hand. Uh, you can only use one Shadow Falco per turn. So that's a sad thing. But it's still a good effect to actually have. I can't believe I mill both Shadow Falcos. Funny, right? 
Um, I'm gonna normal summon uh the Scorpio. Activate the Scorpio's effect. I'm not gonna ditch Shadow Beast. I'm gonna ditch the Garnet. Uh, the reason why, because I found out on a little bit of a rolling, Shadow Beast will not be able to activate as a uh, pay cost fodder. Same as Lumina. It, they they won't work that way. So let's special summon a Cobra. It wants to find him real fast. So give me a few seconds, a few moments. Uh, let's see where are you? Where are you? There you are. So I'm gonna special summon Cobra. Uh, sad thing is I'm gonna use Cobra's effect, but I'm not gonna search Brilliant Fusion this time because we lost our only Garnet. So I'm gonna search out. Actually, to be in perspective, I should keep the Garnet in my hand. And then uh, this is just straight off instead. So let's let's do it that way. And then we're gonna add the Brian Fusion. I figure I might as well keep the uh, Garnet in my hand so I can uh, get some other plays to go through. Uh, get a good shuffle here. There we go. And then. Uh, you guys are curious, I'm going to just cut in the screen so you guys can see that I cut the deck. Uh, then I'm going to play um, uh, Desires. So we're going to banish the top 10 here. So, uh, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10. And then we're going to draw 2. So we'll draw a Blacklist of Sojourn Void at the beginning and uh, show a dragon. It's not bad. Personally, wouldn't want those in my hand. And then, if you guys are also curious of uh, what we banish, we banish. Oh man, we banish our other Raiden, and we banish two wolves. Wow, we banish a lot of good stuff here. You guys can see. I'll go through it one by one here. Yeah. Raiden, uh, Shadow Squamata, another Raiden, Lumina, Lord Darkness, uh, Lila, Wolf, El Shadow, Wolf, and then uh, Shadow Squamata again. So we banish a lot of good stuff there. Um, what I'm going to do is, do we have a light and grave? Yes, we do, and we do have a dark. Oh, I don't want to banish our other Raiden. Um, uh, Mr. Erdo, I'm going to target the Cobra, the special summon. I'm going to pay in half. Then, sad thing is, Blacklist Soldier in the beginning, I am going to special summon. Uh, for, if you guys, I'm trying to squeeze it all in here. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing here, I'm going to banish the light and a dark here, or dark and light, or light and dark. Banish those two, get them out of my way. Uh, to special summon, and then I'm going to. Sad thing is, link. Link all four of those. Um, the Sturdo's effect obviously will activate, going on the bottom of the deck, and then the rest will go to the grave. Then what I'm going to do is, once I find him real quick, special summon. Uh, Sayuja, if you guys can see him right here. I'm especially summoning him all the way over here because this is face down and I don't want this to be part of my hand. Um, let me get a small little activator here. And then I'm going to activate Sayuja's effect. So we'll, we'll draw one, draw two, draw three, and draw four. Now the sad thing is we had a banisher of the raid, and so I don't personally want to keep. Um, the charge, but I'm going to try to keep the charge and see what else we mill. So I'm going to put back the Disturdo because we already use this effect. I'm going to put back um, the Garnet, obviously. We'll get rid of the Garnet. And we're going to put back the Shadal Dragon. Put them all, doesn't matter where. We're just going to put them at the bottom of the deck. That way we can stuck with uh, three, which worked. Now we're going to play uh, Charge of Light Brigade, see what we mill. One, two, three. Pretty much pretty good. Uh, then we're going to search out. So let's find somebody to search. Let's see. Who's left? We have Felice, which is left. Um, yeah, we only have Felice. Oh, boy, that's bad on some points. Now well, let's might as well add the Felice. Charge for the grave. Um... So we're gonna do uh, Squamana as Chainlink, uh, Chainlink one, and then Wolf as Chainlink two. So Wolf will special summon over here. Squamana's effect will send. So I'm going to send uh, Shadow Hedgehog. If you guys are wondering, I'm gonna send Shadow Hedgehog. 
to the graveyard. If you guys, sorry that you guys can't really see the graveyard and all. I, uh, I wish I had a better camera, but what I got. And then I'm going to do uh, that to add. Once I figure out what I'm going to add, uh, might as well add another shell. No, let's not add Shadow Fusion. Let's add Shadow Dragon. Yeah, might as well add Shadow Dragon. Oop. I hate when you shuffle when it comes to that. Sometimes collapsing your hands. It happens sometimes, though. Um, Let's see what we're going to do now. Now we're going to play the Brilliant Fusion. Oop. And dropping cards all over the place. Oops. Let's play the Brilliant Fusion, right? Let's activate Brilliant Fusion. Just try to fit it down here. I'm going to put it right here. You guys can see it. And then we're going to send, obviously, the Garnet. And we do have a lot more combo pieces, so we're going to send damage over. And then, obviously, I'm worried about a special summon. So I'm going to special summon. Demon X Rapidite. Uh, oof, this is a tough call. I'm going to special summon here. Then I'm going to use uh, Damage Struggler's Effect to banish from Grape. Search out. Um, I'm going to search out the Trick Clown. Because I do get Sayuja's Effect to Special Summon, and I do get Trick Clown, or I mean Seraphonite here. So I'm going to search out add Trick Clown. I'll get Seraphonite's effect to get additional Norm Summon. So I have two effects I can abuse and use right now. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do... Um, we're going to do Solar Recharge here. Solar Recharge ditched the Felice out of my hand. Uh, draw one. Draw two, so I drew a hat trick, that's good. And then mill one, mill two, since I already used Hedgehog's effect, I don't get it again. And then we milled our, our oh goodness gracious, we're milling all our boss monsters here. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Now, since I have Felice in the graveyard, I do just want to get that Lumina, special summon that Lumina. And then, on top of that, I'm going to have that additional uh, normal summon off of Seraphonite to summon out Trickla. Or hold on, let's actually not do that. Let's do uh, let's do the luminous effect, and we're gonna ditch this solar recharge on my hand, and I'm gonna special summon the uh, let's see, yeah, perfect. Special summon the fleece. That's our other tuner, which is the sad thing. We're gonna synchro, right? We're gonna special summon F.A. Don Draxter, which should work. We're gonna special summon F.A. Don Draxter. And then we're going to do uh, Hat Trickers Effect to Special Summon. Um, then we're going to on to, let's see, what do we want to do right now? Uh, we can't really Synchro. Uh, special Summoning will probably be a full waste right now, so we're going to link these three. Get a card in the graveyard, that way we can pull off Boiler and Savage again. Uh, we're going to Special Summon uh, Curious. And then we're going to activate Curious's Effect to Send. So what we're going to do is send Global to the graveyard. We were supposed to special we were supposed to get an additional normal summon by accident. I forgot to, so we we're supposed to special summon uh a normal summon oh, well we can't even do that either. Oops. Uh, some things happen that you can't explain. That was a far, far by accident, but it's okay. So let's just shuffle. I sent, by the way, I sent off a of Cures Effect Global. So let's go ahead and cut. Because I know sometimes you guys like to see that. And then we're going to mill three. So we're going to mill Shadow Beast, Revolver Golem, and Goblin Bird. Uh... I think a lot of you guys understand why I play this card. It's a free special summon onto the board. Uh, Shadow Beast gives me a draw. So we're going to draw... Ooh, we drew a Lower Darkness. That's not bad. No, no. Let's go ahead and play the Lower Darkness. Draw one. Draw two. That's not bad. And we got to banish a Dark. So we're just going to banish... Um, we're going to banish the Shadow, Shadow Beast. 
So we don't need them anymore. We already used them up. Uh, then we drew that, if you guys can see. So, hmm. We didn't get much pluses so far. But we do have Glow Ball, which is not bad. And we do have other cards on the board right now. Uh, let's see what we got. What we got in our extra deck? We don't got that bad. Let's see. Let's use um, Glow Ball's effect. Special. By Mill 1. If you guys are wondering, no, super polymerization, which is not the best, but it's okay. Uh, we're going to synchro with these two. If you guys are wondering, yes, I am playing back the Naturia Beast. If you're going against Sky Strikers, Naturia Beast will help you win more often, depending on how you do your board and such. It usually determines on that, but let's see what else can we do. Uh, we could summon the Construct and probably go for more Link Plays, maybe. We could get rid of that uh, Shadow Faco from using Shadow uh, Fusion, just to special summon. Special summon the Construct and then go for more Link Plays. Uh, it's kind of hard to go for. Try to figure out some other things. Uh, we can't really go for more synchro plays because we lost our Raidens, which is the sad thing. But we can still establish a good board, so let's go ahead and play the Shadow Fusion. I'm going to send the uh, Trick Clown from my hand and Shadow Falco from the field for a construct. And then Trick Clown's effect will activate, paying 1000 special. I link them with both of these, which we're going to do. I'm going to link for both of these. If you guys can see. Link with the Construct and the Curious. We special summon a uh, Boiler Dragon, where we're going to summon it on oh, this side. Then I'm going to get Construct's effect to go off. So let's add... Um, let's add... We didn't banish. We're gonna add the regular shell fusion back to our hand because we turns out we banished the uh, L shell fusion. And then we didn't like I said we didn't get really get much of a good board here. But I'm gonna special summon uh or related these two special summon Minerva. And we're gonna just try to use Minerva's effect to get some more mills and see what happens. So we mill Prior Plant Scorpio, Charge Lab Gate, and Rota, which didn't do much. So we have Minerva on this side, which is not bad. And then we're going to just go ahead and special summon the Black Lotus Soul Drunk Boy beginning. We're banishing the Prior Plant Scorpio and the Wolf. Uh, this is not the best board, obviously, but it's a start. Um, we do have plays. Uh, if your opponent tries to get rid of your board, they will have to choose wisely on what cards to get rid of. Um, they're like... Uh, F.A. Don Draxter can negate, uh, Naturia Beast can negate, but F.A. Don Draxter negates spells and traps. They get rid of Minerva, they're going to have to deal with some problematic situations. Lockos Soldier is still a beat stick, it's still 3k, and same with Boiler Dragon, both beat sticks. This is not bad of a board, I was kind of hoping to get uh, Boiler Savage on board, but by a turn of look of things, we did banish all three Raidens. Or I mean, banish, yeah, obviously we banish all three Raidens, which is a problematic situation. It does happen, so let's, I think I got, we're going to go ahead and do one more test, Dan. I'm going to do one more play, play test. Sorry about that, guys. I was just trying to see how much time we have, or how much time the video is going. Uh, I'm okay of doing another test, in video. Or, I mean, another test, Dan, of on, on this video. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. We're going to do another one. Let's see what we'll end up getting. Um, I did make some tweaks. Uh, the Naturia Beast has been has been placed into the deck. I uh, do have a... I had a hard time going against a stun deck as well as a... Uh, I went against a Sky Striker deck as well. Long back and it wasn't that easy. It wasn't really fun, but it was actually... Uh, challenging at one point, so I, I figured might as well take out the Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend because it didn't do as much as I thought it would be. 
for the past couple of weeks, so or past week to be exact. So I changed it up and test out something different. So let's do it. Let's see what else. Uh, another test hand. Let's see how good our other test hand will be. So uh, there it is. Now we're gonna cut, and then we're gonna draw our top six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That is not a good hand, but it's a decent hand. It can start off, maybe. Uh, you might have a hard time doing some plays and things of that nature. But yeah, let's just, we're not going to play this hand. We're going to try a different hand. Let's see. Oh, there's a left the card behind. Let's do one more. Do one more hand here. Like I said, I'm always gonna cut on screen. And then we're gonna draw our five. So one, two, three, four, five, which isn't the best, but it does something. And then near six. Oof, that's not really the best hand here. It's actually kind of messed up in some points. Like it won't work out. Um Personally, I wouldn't really play this hand either, so I would try to. I'm gonna try to get you something different. Uh, it is playable because you could do foolish mirrors and wolf and normal summon the garnet or the rival goal, depending on your mood, and summon out the Minerva and see what that gets you. I personally wouldn't try that. Uh, let's try a different hand. I'm gonna try one more different hand and see what we can get. This is probably be the very last hand we'll do. Go. I think I got it to work out here. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Uh, let's draw our six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. And there's six. This is not bad of a hand. But I'm more personally probably go for Pot of Desires and see what that gets you. So let's let's go ahead and test it out. See what we can do, right? So let's banish two, four, six, eight, ten. There you guys go. Uh, draw one, draw two. That isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Or the draws, but what did we banish? We banish uh, damage juggler, you guys can see. Shell fusion, shell falco, so the recharge, raiden, brilliant fusion. Now, our whole entire brilliant fusion combo is dead, but it's alright. Monster reborn, lumina, pot of desires, and the other gamma bird. That's not bad. We didn't banish all the good stuff, but we banished a decent amount of stuff. Uh, let's do the gamma bird, normal effect, switch defense mode. Um, we're actually going to summon the lumina. We're going to summon her over here. Special summon her over here. Because Hat Trigger's effect will activate. You can special summon because you control two or more monsters. Then you're going to overlay both of these. So we're going to personally chose this zone. And we're going to special summon uh, Minerva, right? If you guys can see that pretty well. Try to show out the hand a little bit. That way you guys can see. There we go. We're going to do Minerva's effect. Let's see what we know. We know one. Two, three. Oof, that's not the best, but it does work. Um, we get to the dark and the grave. Personally, that doesn't work pretty well, but we do mill pretty well. I'm going to do uh, Stars Effect, pay half, target Lumina, special. Uh, we don't have three darks on the grave, or three. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? We have Blacklist of Soldier, which is a good thing. Um, let's see what we can do. What can we do? Uh, 
Um, we're gonna play El Shadal Fusion. We're gonna send Shadal Falco and Minerva to the graveyard to special summon out Construct, right? Then we're gonna get Falco's effect to activate to put our own self face down over here, away from uh, Construct here. We're gonna put her over here. Um, let's see what else. So that gives us a light in the dark in the grave, but we're gonna get Construct's effect to go off to send a Shadal, send a Shadal card to the graveyard. So I'm sending Fal or Shadal Squamata. So I'm gonna get Squamata's effect to go off, and I'm gonna send uh, Shadal Hedgehog. Then Shadal Hedgehog's effect is gonna activate, which I'm gonna add Shadal Fusion. I'm going to shuffle here. I'm going to cut. Then I'm going to special some luckless and surgery before the beginning. I like you guys are. I like a lot of you guys are probably going to comment down below. Uh, why did you special? Some, why you keep special some luckless and surgery over in the beginning? I thought it's supposed to be a game tactic for you to go game. Uh, actually, it's not. Uh, I usually use it for link plays because it is a good extender. Once you get your graveyard set up a little bit with cards, so you can just keep extending your boards and such. I think that's a good idea. I think it works out. But see, you guys can play the deck how you guys want to play it. I play it my uh, my circumstances. It works pretty well. So but I'm going to special summoning him in here. Then I'm going to link with all three of these because they're all lights. Uh, we got fairy, spellcaster, and warrior. Uh, obviously, you do get Construct's effect to go off. After I special summon uh, Curious here, Construct's effect will activate, adding you. Uh, I believe we used El Shadal Fusion, so we're going to add El Shadal Fusion back to our hand. Then Curious effect to send. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Fleece. I'm going to shuffle here. Now, ideally, this isn't the best board. If we don't mill pretty well, this isn't the best board, but it works. So, let's see what we mill here. We're going to shuffle and then cut. Uh, Felice's effect will activate the special. So, we're going to special some of this here, right there. Then, we're going to activate uh, Cure's effect to mill one, mill two. No three. That isn't the best, but we do get the other fleece to go off. Squamata's effect we just activated already, so we couldn't really activate that effect. Um, what we could do is oh, this is a tough, tough decision, guys. We're, we put ourselves on the top. Uh, Decision here, because we do have Shadal uh, Skumana face down. If you guys can see there, uh, but we can't activate Shadal Skumana here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set El Shadal Fusion. Um, or well, actually no, we're not. yeah, we're going to set that. Then I'm going to play Shadal Shadal Fusion. I'm going to fuse uh, both Disturdo and Falco, both Darks. We're going to special summon El Shadal Winda, uh, personally in attack mode. Since we are going second, we're going to activate uh, Felice's effect. Say if Mara Poma had a card effect, uh, the mill 1, mill 2, mill 3, so we mill Global Ball, which is okay. So we got rid of another problematic card, and then we're going to activate Global's effect to special by mill 1. So we mill pretty well. So, say if my opponent had another monster, we can't get around. So, we're going to do the other Felicis effect, right? Mill 1, Mill 2, Mill 3, which wasn't even the best mill ever. But, A, can't lie on certain things that you can do. Um, let's see. Now, I know, ideally, this isn't the best board. This isn't the best. Like, it ain't good. It ain't anything. But, uh... 
But this is okay with Warden. I personally want you uh work work from here. Um yeah. Uh this isn't the best hand I was kinda hoping for. I was kinda hoping for a little bit of a stronger uh board presence to be exact, but eh. You can work what you get. Sometimes you'll draw good hands, sometimes you'll draw bad hands, which is an obvious reason of this deck. Um I'm gonna shuffle here. I'm gonna might as well. I'm gonna show you one more hand and then I'm gonna we're gonna probably call it off. So let's do one more hand. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now ideally this is the better hand. Personally I would have played this hand instead of the other hand, but you can work what you got. You guys are curious what I have is Disturdo, Lumina, Hat Tricker, Shell Dragon, Charge Light Brigade, and the Goblin Bird. So, yeah. Um, uh, like I said, I hope you guys actually enjoy this. This was a uh, another test end video uh, to show the updated uh, version of the my 60 card lights from Shadows. If you guys do enjoy it, let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you guys enjoy longer videos like such as this. Uh, if you guys want me to do another test end video, personally of my other decks, let me know down in the comments below as well. I'm probably going to be uploading a couple more videos every such, every every once in a while. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see more videos such as this. Um, and I'm also going to be uploading a couple more other videos of some other decks. Uh, some other, I'm going to be doing some binder videos, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, I'm going to show you some other things of that nature. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys actually want more videos such as this. Uh, yeah, Dragon Rockstar, signing out.